Hello everyone and welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Today we are talking about Ezra Brooks' seven-year-old, or specifically Old Ezra's seven-year-old barrel strength. This is a 58.5% seven-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey with charcoal filtering. Um, bit of a lowdown on the bottle. I was given a sample of this by a viewer, uh, Justin Adams, probably last year or the year before. Tried it, fell in love with it. I've been hunting a bottle down since. Finally found one, courtesy of the Whiskey Exchange. Um, the distillery itself does exist. They've been existing since 1957. They've just built a sort of fancy new distillery with a 43 foot column still. So they're quite proud of that. Um, but it is not the most common name in bourbon in any way at all. And when I first saw charcoal mellowed charcoal mellowed Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, I was a bit confused by that because well, there's little flies in the room, I do apologize. Um, I wasn't aware that you could charcoal filter a Kentucky straight bourbon. It is indeed an older process. It is something that you can do. I believe it is fully legal to do so. Um, and even the method of charcoal filtration or charcoal mellowing, which we associate with brands like George Dickel and Jack Daniels, known as the Lincoln County process. Um, Jack Daniels isn't in Lincoln County and neither is George Dickel. I think Dickel's in Coffey County and Jack Daniels, Jack Daniels is in Moore County. So even they follow that process, but they're not necessarily from that county in which it originates. You can choose to do the process or not. Um, if I am wrong in any way, please feel free to correct me. But from the research I've been doing from when I saw that on the front of this bottle, um, I just wanted to know a bit more and it's been a while since I've gone through bourbon history. Um, and as much as you can enjoy it, these things do fade away from your brain when you've got other stuff to deal with, especially in the last couple of years. But yeah, cash strength, seven year old, charcoal filtered. Um, so that's the filtration is done before it enters the barrel, as it is with every um, spirit that does that, I believe, in whiskey anyway. Uh, and it's a 750 milliliter bottle. So I get a 50 mil extra. Um, it's been open for about a week and a bit. Stunning colour. Really, really beautiful colour. Before we go to smell and taste, let me just give you guys a close-up of the label too. Because it is quite a specific looking label. Um, not much to report on the back there. Quite plain. But yeah, very sort of bold. Big colour scheme for that one. So let's smell, let's taste, let's see what the old Ezra is doing. Apologies, lunch is repeating on me there. Ooh. So the reason I was in, in enticed, yeah, the reason I was enticed to buy this is that when I smelt it, it was just like tiny, or junior, George T. Stagg. Those tobacco-y notes and the hit of milk chocolate that is on this is quite incredible. It is this hugely outrageous product for something which is only seven years old. Especially when you think of comparable products like the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, which tend to be anywhere really between what we're talking stags and wellers, you know, eight to about 16 years old in some cases, especially at cash strength. Uh, and this just screams of that style. It is just such a, decadent nose it's like everything you could want like tobacco milk chocolate there's the big creme caramel um like crystallized almost like a crystallized ginger thing there's some really nice strawberry cream notes in the back of it it's quite an exceptional style of a of a bourbon that just a smell like if that was a scent i'd wear it The ABV can be a bit spiky. I mean, yeah, 58.5% 50, or 117 proof. That is quite a lot of alcohol. So do be aware of that if you have any of this at home. But yeah, it's also quite peanutty as well. Like peanut, peanut brittle, peanut and toffee, peanut and caramel, all that sort of stuff.
So the taste is very, very, very peanut driven. You do get a little bit of that milk chocolate, a little bit of that caramel. A lot of the spice, a lot of the heat. And just at the end, there's this nice kind of freshness of mint coming through, like fresh mint, eucalyptus, that kind of flavor. It is a big, bold, powerful product. There is no denying that. However, it isn't overly complex. It's very, very nice. There's a lot going on. And I'd say if, if you bought this and you knew nothing about the brand, you may have bought it purely based on the strength of the product, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but the, the strength of the ABV is the leading factor in this. Um, the nose is wonderful. It's one of the best smelling bourbons I've ever come across. The taste moves into being sweet, but it's it's sweet but very drying. You know, think of the dryness of peanuts. Um, think of kind of burnt toffee and burnt caramel. The tobacco thing comes in and allows a slightly interesting contrast of flavour. And then the mint pops up at the end. It's, it's quite refreshing, especially to cut through all of the, the barrel intensity, well, the, the intensity of the oak and the intensity of the ABV. Because that is a natural coloured product. It's the same colour as my shirt. And not that you should ever buy a whiskey purely based on its colour, even though it is a natural coloured product. But it tastes like you think it would. It's a big Kentucky bruiser of a product. Um, the lack of complexity does let it down, but I don't think that it's a bad product in any way. I do think it's a lot of fun. It cost me £60 which in the grand scheme of cash drank bourbon in this country is quite good. I think overall I'm going to give it an eight and a half. We'll probably buy a bottle of it again, but it will take me a while to get through that. I've only had a few small sort of pours out of that and I give some friends a pour before I got ill. But yeah, old Ezra's seven year old charcoal mellowed Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey gets an eight and a half from me. Very alluring nose, beautiful smells, slightly drying or slightly a taste profile which is much drier compared to what it is sweet the mint was a beautiful surprise and the tobacco coming back was a nice contrast but it might get more complex the longer it's open but at the minute it is a very very good product but eight and a half i still think is very respectable um, so thank you all very much for watching i am phil this is whiskey wednesday and i'll see you all next week cheers